Well, greetings from Q, D and Q's Adventures. We're in the kitchen and Honey Baby is making focaccia. Um, we prepped the dough and it already rised. Go ahead and poke it and let all the air bubbles out of there. It'll flatten once you flip it over. Don't be scared, babe. We're not so crazy. It's going to flatten some more. Just get all the air bubbles out of there. Flip the roll the dough over. Use both hands. Just make it focaccia. Flip it. I'm going to get all the oil in there. Okay. And put it on your parchment. Put it on your baking sheet. And we're going to spread the dough out as much as we can evenly. And we want to put like air dimples, like dimples in the dough. And spread it all the way out to the edge of the pan. Okay. I got smaller gloves, so. Yeah. These are a little thick. That's fine. We're just going to get it right. We're going to get it as even as we can. Of course I can't do it, so my honey's in here making us focaccia bread. And we're going to get it out there as further as we can, and we're going to let it proof for another 15 to 20 minutes and it's not going to stretch all the way because um, the elasticity is in there so we're going to let it rest and when it does the final rest we're going to stretch it out to the very ends but it looks like you're doing good let's put some more dimples in there and we're not going to do that much and we're going to cover it up with some trying to get it to the corners. yeah it's okay it's going to rise some more when it's, it's going to Get a little That's bit why thick. that focaccia is thick. Yeah, it is, because we're going to get it with the dimples that in there. Good bread with the garlic on top. Do you want to flip it or you want to keep it on that side? Keep it. Okay. So go ahead and cover it again with the plastic wrap. I'm going to let it set. Look on the side. Okay, not too much, babe. We don't want to mess the dough up too much. We're going to let it relax. Otherwise, you're gonna overdo your dough. All right. Okay. Now, what do you want to do? You want to cover it with some um, plastic. I already got some onions so cut up. Well, Dee cut some onions up, and she got some tomato there. And we're gonna to top it off with probably some more cheese, some pepperoni, some sausages. I'm gonna put some mushroom on mine, and um, we're gonna bake it off. And she's wrapping it so it can proof again. Like I said, for another. 15 to 20 minutes and then she's going to stretch it out again and then we're going to bake it off in the oven on temperature 400 for probably good 10 to 12 minutes until it's golden brown to our desired um, color I should say and so we're going to proof it and then we'll be back how you feel about that can't wait to taste it are you going to top yours off with extra cheese and good stuff like that mm, yeah Kind of let it, shake it a little bit so I can kind of get over. Shake what? Shake it so I can kind of get to the side over there. Yeah. In the, meat, in the middle. Okay. So it's going to proof, so it's not going to, it's going to rise a little bit more. But we'll be back when it proves and then we'll continue um, with part two of our focaccia bread. But this is almost the ending project. So. All right. We're back at our focaccia process. And you're going to go ahead and remove. How much time is it in? 30 minutes? Yeah, it's been 30 minutes since we allowed it to rest, and we're going to stretch it out. We're going to remove that. And so what's going to happen that we're going to add all of our toppings. We're going to add all of our toppings to, we're going to stretch it out, and you're going to put dimples. Get it all the way to the very edge. Just dimples. As much as you can to the edge of the pan. Get all the corners up the corners. Okay, when I say dimples, you like this. Dimples, not dimples. There you go. That's focaccia. Dimples. Okay. And what you're going to do, you're going to pick up the oil. You're going to put a little oil on your hands. And you're just going to sprinkle it on top of your focaccia. Barely little. You can put a little bit in your hand and just spread it all over the top of your focaccia. It's not spreading very well. No. It's not even. Just tap it on there. A little bit more oil is not going to hurt.
Okay, next you're gonna add your cheese. Can you go ahead for me? Cheese on the whole thing? Yes, cheese. Evenly. Do you want the marinara sauce on there or you don't? Okay. Okay. Even we put the cheese on there. Yeah, this is cheese. Yes, it does. That's a lot of bread. Once it rises, you will see that cheese will disappear. Put all that cheese on there. Dump it. She's adding the cheese. We'll just go ahead and even put it on the rest of the Make sure it's always put it even over your whole kasha bread the corners and okay I see some spots over here now since you don't like mushrooms I do can you put half mushrooms on mine oh wait let's start with a little garlic sorry put a little garlic on there sprinkle a little garlic if you like just sprinkle it Mushrooms. Oh. They're thick. You want them thick? Yes, I like mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Not like them. I love. Well, these are dark because they're baby bellas. Baby That's bellas fine. are brown. That's fine. Mushrooms. The other mushrooms ones are like more white. That's fine. I didn't, know they were stuff over here. I didn't know they were bellas. I'm fine. You can you add need? the tomatoes and onions on mine, on that side, or, or the entire focaccia. You don't be afraid of the tomatoes. Tomatoes are delicious. And the oven's preheating to 400, and this is going to bake for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how crunchy we want it or how dark we may want our focaccia bread and you got to slice onions you want to put onions on yours as well on your uh -huh. side it's pretty okay. good put all over the entire just spread them out open them nice and even please because once they cook they're going to shrivel down looks really good doing a good job Dee how does it smell? It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Too bad I don't have any spinach or cilantro. Yeah, no cilantro. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. No more onions. And at this point, you can add your pepperoni and some sausages on there. You put as much as you like. I'm going to come around this way so you can get a good view of your presentation and how you're layering your pepperonis on your pizza, on your focaccia. This is focaccia pizza. Pizza focaccia. Yes. We'll just dip it in the sauce. Marinara. Yes. Heat just... the marinara. Mm -hmm. Dip it in there. You can give me a little um, pepperoni as well. Mm, I'll just do mine first. Ha ha ha. All right, that's fine. I like how you're carefully putting these pepperoni on there. This is going to be the best ever. You never want to go to Anne's Pizza again after you have this homemade focaccia. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say thank you, wifey, for this experience. Anne's Pizza is really good. But I'm going to say this experience and Although taste is going to be... the price went up. Oh, yeah. They're a ripoff. This is home base. You can eat as much as you like. And it's worth it. Because it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. They have some really good things in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You love pepperoni. But I like sausage more than pepperoni. Okay, well, you're leaving some space. That's enough. Yeah, plenty of pepperoni. Yeah, I don't want that much, but you like what you like. And she's almost done with this process. It looks really nice. And you got your pepperonis coming? I mean, sausage. I'll just dump those. Yeah. Let them fall where they may. Oops, sorry. One fell on the floor. Apologies. Okay, I don't want that much. You don't my, want that much sausage? Yeah. All right. Put one more over here. And then once that's done, you're going to top it off with a little um, pepper and some sea salt on top. Damn, lost two. That's enough, honey. Two down. Two down. If you slow Sausage down, that down. won't happen. Sausage down. Sausage down. And right now, we're letting the oven preheat. There's a sausage over here. That's... A sausage flew over there? Yeah, we might as well finish these. I don't want that much on mine. I just don't. It's a sausage focaccia. Look at that. Oh, that's wrong. All right. You said I got one more somewhere? On the side, okay. you got a piece of cheese there in front of that pan. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Looks all, really these, good. Yeah, all these seasonings is like really strong, making me sneeze. You could top it off. Right, what do I need? You're going to do your salt and pepper? I don't want salt on mine. Um, okay. I would like a little bit on mine. And just add a little bit of this. A sprinkle. Sprinkle, yeah. Just a sprinkle. Okay. Okay. And you could do a little black pepper. Sprinkle, bottom. But sea salt actually takes it to the next level. Okay, that's enough. What else? Just a grind a little sea salt, tab it. I don't know how this works. Just turn it. Okay, okay. That's okay. Over there. There you go. I don't want one. Okay, and so we'll be back. One second. <laughs> 